how's it going everyone if you're new here welcome and if you're returning welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you two ways in which you can regain access to your iphone in situations where you've forgotten your passcode and these methods are very simple as long as you follow them step by step but before we get started i want you to be aware of three vital information the very first one is these methods are exactly what the apple support team recommends you do in situations where you've forgotten your passcode and the second one is these methods are going to work if and only if the device is yours and truly yours and the third one is it's always recommended that you have a recent backup of your iphone this is just to prevent any possibility of data loss so with all that being said let's get started So we touched upon this method in our video on 10 iPhone tips and tricks that you never knew existed. But the important thing to note here is that this method will only work within 72 hours after you changed your passcode. You will need to enter the wrong passcode about 5 times until the iPhone unavailable prompt shows up and then tap on the forgot passcode option. And if it's a recently changed passcode, you have the option to enter the previous passcode. And once you do, you have the ability to enter another new passcode. And so, with that, you will regain access to your device. For this method, you will enter the wrong passcode as well, 5 times until the iPhone unavailable warning shows, and then tap on the forgot passcode option, and then select iPhone reset. Now you need to enter the password to your Apple ID in order to sign out. And once you do that, you'll get this option to erase your iPhone. Now you need to decide how you would love to restore your data. So you have two options, either you use iCloud or you use your MacBook. So in this video, I'm going to be using a recent backup on my MacBook and this is going to include all my data, including my apps and the data they have. So for example, an app like WhatsApp, I'm going to have all my messages intact after restoring. So select erase iPhone and the whole reset process will begin. So for the sake of this video, I've actually sped up the whole process, so it's going to look faster. And after a while, you'll get this hello welcome screen. So swipe up. And now you can select your language, in this case English. Then go ahead and select your country, in this case Nigeria. And give it a few seconds now you have the option to customize your appearance so now we're searching for nearby devices that we can use to set up our device but in this case we're just going to click on set up without another device and select continue again now you can choose your wi-fi network in this case i'm just going to enter the password for my wi-fi network and then you give it a few seconds so that it can activate your iphone and once that is done, you have this data and privacy section. Just click on continue and then you get to this point where you need to set up your iPhone. I'm going to do this later. I'm also going to do this later so we can move faster. So now we are at the point where we need to restore our data. So like I said earlier, we are going to be using a recent backup from my MacBook. So I'm just going to connect my cord to the iPhone and also plug it to my MacBook. Now you would have the option to select your backup. So do that and click on continue and the whole process of restoring the backup is going to begin. Also your iPhone is going to show that's restore in progress screen. This is actually going to be long. I'm, I'm just speeding up the whole process for the sake of this tutorial. And once everything is done, you're going to get this restore completed screen. And then you can click on continue. And I'm going to skip this face ID setup for later. I'm also going to skip this iPhone passcode. I'll do that later. And now you have to enter the password for your Apple ID and then you click on continue so now you receive a verification code on your other device so make sure you enter that correctly 
and then the whole signing in process is going to begin you have the terms and condition you click on agree and then you proceed and after that i'm going to skip siri as well click on setup for later now you get access back to your iphone so now as you can see all the apps will start downloading the speed of this is going to depend on your wi-fi or network speed so yeah i'm just speeding up the whole process and as you can see all my apps are re-downloading and i have access back to everything i once had and as you can see on my whatsapp i still have all the messages intact after a few moments, I have my whole iPhone back with all my apps complete. Nothing is missing. Even in my photos app, I can see all my data there, my pictures and my videos. And in my notes app, the same. I can see all my notes. So I hope you learned something in this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in the next. Peace.